everyone. I wanted to come on tonight because I wanted to share a vision the Lord gave me. Um, in this vision, I was in my prayer closet, and the Lord uh, showed me and handed me um, a sand dollar, which I found very odd and bizarre, but it was a very clear vision, and it appeared before me, and the Lord was handing it to me as a gift. And so um, I thought, this is very odd. Like, what does a sand dollar have to do with anything? So I, anyway, I went and I looked it up online because I thought, well, if the Lord is giving me this, it must be some kind of significance. And I was so amazed and excited to see the Lord had given me something that was actually the story of his of the gospel in his life. Um, I know a lot of you are probably familiar with this story, but um, I, I wanted to go over it with you because it is so precious to me that the Lord did this. And I thought it would be really inspirational to show you that sometimes the Lord can give us gifts when we're in our prayer closet um, just through something, a vision or a picture of something, and we might not know what it means, but it is such a precious thing, and he always does amazing things like this for me, and I know that he will with you if you get to know him. The Lord is amazing. The Lord God loves us so much, and he wants to treat us with special gifts and special things um, to make us happy and just to give us joy, and this gave me so much joy to learn about this. So um, anyway, I looked at up and I found out that the sand dollar shell actually tells the story of Jesus. On the front of the sand dollar, if you've all seen a sand dollar probably, um, it has five holes and the five holes are said to represent the five wounds of Jesus on the cross. Um, the, the five holes, the four nail holes from his hands and his feet and also the, his pierced side from the Roman soldier's spear. Um, and, and also on the front of the sand dollar is um, is the, is the Easter lily, and um, that f flower, of course, is a flower we see that commemorates his resurrection at Easter time. Um, in the center of the Easter lily, on the front of the sand dollar, is a very clear star, and that star is said to represent the star of Bethlehem that the shepherds saw and followed to Bethlehem. Um, to find Jesus in the manger at his birth. So um, that is on the front of the sand dollar. Now, if you turn the sand dollar over, um, on the back of the sand dollar is um, another flower, and this is the Christmas poinsettia. Um, it's said to represent the, his birth as well, and um, it really does look like a poinsettia plant. If you've ever seen a poinsettia plant that they have, the beautiful red uh, plants that they have there at Christmas time. They're gorgeous. And um, anyway, this is this is shown on the back of the sand dollar. Now, if you break the sand dollar open, um, inside there's always five little white pieces of shell that look like doves. And these are supposed to represent the spirits of peace and joy going out into the world that, um, from the spirit of Christmas and Jesus. So, um, I thought it was really neat. You do broke. I've broken them open as a child, and always amazed to see these little pieces of, of shell that look like doves. Always, um, apparently, I guess this is a, a kind of an side back. These are actually remnants of, of like some kind of teeth from the from the shellfish. But um, I thought it was very um, amazing that the Lord could create such a beautiful shell that actually retells the story of the gospel. So the fact that the Lord showed me this in a vision, and I didn't know what it meant, and then I went to look it up, and I confirmed that, yes, this is from the Lord. It tells the story of the gospel. Um, you know, it's amazing. All creation sings his praises, and it is, his story of the gospel is found in many things, including the stars in the sky and um, the patterns of the seasons. Everything is, is really goes and, and talks about the life, death, and rebirth of that we experience through Jesus Christ. So if you're listening to this and you have not developed a close relationship with the Lord and you don't know him, I would highly encourage you to seek him. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. He is God come down from heaven to sacrifice himself so that we could be stand pure and holy before God and we could share in eternity with him forever. Um, the Lord gave us free will, and as a result of that, we have made some sinful choices, and we are born with sin. And God gave us a solution for free will by coming down and, and offering himself as a sacrifice so that we could become 
uh, sons and daughters of God and stand with him in heaven. So um, if you accept him into your heart, you'll find that the Holy Spirit will enter your heart. He will teach you amazing things, things you never knew before that are unknowable if you don't know God. Um, so um, the Lord will teach you all the ways uh, of the Lord and 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 help you know God in a very close and intimate relationship like a friend and a father to us. So I hope you this blesses you tonight. I was really excited to receive it, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, I hope you're all having a great night, and I hope you have uh, a blessed day. Bye-bye.